Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia. And one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully.
The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. I suppose that might be. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. will vilify your motivations and your actions. You know, they have burned marks of stigma on your bodies and your minds, poisoning your perception of what is truth and what is lie. My warriors, they have been doing this for centuries, manipulating you and everyone around you, forcing you to accept their truths as yours. Well, there is a storm coming. Oh, and it will uproot everything they so stand I failed for. medical school. Ruin is upon their empire. I am calling to you, warriors, to be the force that sweeps the landscape clear of them forever. What's your part in all this mess, pal? You need to pay attention. Ah!
Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. Thought they could tame the beast. Use it for the things they want. Photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the Barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. Maelstrom left Mumbai because he was recruited that by man the British there. to work as he a resembles spy. The All the evidence is right Try there. to get close to him for a visual ID.
No luck. Shame, not the maelstrom. That wasn't him, no. No, that isn't the maelstrom. Where's the barber? Are you interested in clothes? The finest colors and fabric anywhere. You there, sir, please. One moment. You look like a discerning gentleman. No, that isn't the male strong. Finest words in cloth, finest scarf. Greetings, sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Jeep, durable cloth. He's allowed up there, but we're not. What exactly is going on here? Uh. Identification confirmed. The history of the crows goes back decades, my friend. That's the audience. My brother told me this story about the maelstrom years ago. Have you heard it? The one with the three dragons? No. Well, I'm sure you know of the story about the betrayer, so I won't get into that. But after he first left the city, he came upon a bandit camp out in the outskirts. Here, he found a young woman held captive by three terrible men, the dragon. They had kidnapped her from her parents and wanted to sell her as a slave of men. But men from forth and knew that she did not... Hi, um... Whatever. It's me. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Sargar's barbershop is open again. He is an excellent source of information, and I want to make sure he understands who he's working oh, for now. It. Here comes the vomit train. Signal.
Be at once when the shop is open. That is all. Any idea why the boss wants to know when the barber shop is open again? Yeah, Saga the barber has a side business. He basically has a business making a transfer. Where is he? I need to shave. Why isn't the shop open yet? Come on, then. Hello. Who are you? Give me a quick update on the parts. Is everything running according to schedule? Yar, I would pay a lot of rupees for an autograph of the Maelstrom. He's the greatest hero Mumbai has ever seen. Hey! I don't know. I think my local Dabawala is a pretty big hero. Buddy, I'm flattered, but uh, I'm spoken for. Wasn't there a rumor that Dawood Rangan in Maelstrom was the same person? No way! Rangan started the... It's me. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Sarga's barbershop is opening.
yelling at us, threatening us. They wanted to know who was in charge. Eventually, one of the young men broke. So, I was dragged out, beaten senseless. As I lay there, I looked upon these men of basic violence, their shifty eyes and nervous laughs. And it dawned upon me. The brilliance of it. I uh I see now why she hired you. Become that which they could not. Are you coming on to me? They didn't want to burn down a shed with children in it. They weren't monsters, just brutal men with simple ambitions. So I spent to his employee that mission. I showed them the monster. All it took was a lighter and the will to do what they couldn't. That, my friends, is when the maelstrom was born. It appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. Kram, what are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. This is Vikram. I'm calling to let you know that I'll be going on an extended vacation. You should direct all business inquiries to my assistant. I'm not sure. A few weeks, maybe a couple of months. It uh, you know, depends on a few things. But everything is fine. You will still get everything as planned. All right. Thank you. Just call the usual phone number and they will help you with your business. Cha, Phir. Goodbye. What kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants? Where's the barber? My job interview is in an hour. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. Have a nice day. Come on, then. Let me give you one. I don't want to test my patience. Virtually non existent fabric in one eye. How much are these? Ah, you're back. Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. 
Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled handler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 105 rupees. Then. It's a deal, yes? Wow, those eyes are really burning into me. It's uh, like you're just looking straight at... How much of these? Ah, you're back. Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled handler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 105 rupees. It's a deal, yes? It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one, though. Silk, cotton, linen. Great. Thank you. Come again. Promise we got married. I would live that. It's you. Did you bring the cloth for Miss Shah? Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search hey, you. Hey, man. Not to worry. You want to get through here? I'll need to frisk you first. So, he's just hiding in there now? Yeah. Shah sent someone over to talk to him, but he refused to come down. Huh. Seems rather silly. It's a big opportunity for him. Sure, Vanya Shah is a little scary.
It's you. Did you bring... ...the cloth for Miss Shah? Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time! Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards Hello will there. search you. Not to worry. If you want to pass, you need to be frisked first. Is that a problem? Just stand still, and it'll be over soon. Hey, man. Go on ahead. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play hey, along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. I'm so I really hope she will. I heard she likes... Okay, mind yourself. Here we are. Just go through there, please. The Queen is... Are you trying to intimidate me or be intimate with me? It's very warm in the alley where we live. Without water and power, we cannot manage. Hmm. I see. That is Vanya Shah, well, the whole self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Your husband is dead, is he not? Yes, he is. Two years now. And your children are already working elsewhere in the city. Yes, but... You have nothing to offer me then, Mrs. Banerjee. I'm sorry, but water and power are precious assets here. I barely have enough for my own needs. You will have to make do with what you have. I understand. Thank you, my queen. Ah, the elusive dealer. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution to you. Twice, cut once, right? You there. Leave us. I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain one of the other tapes left this behind. You can use that. They won't need it. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. You've probably heard about the other dealers. <coughs> Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one.
47. I'm picking up Greg. Have you seen Sanjay recently? He lost a small fortune to me in a poker game a few nights ago and I haven't seen him since. I bet he skipped down. Sala Haram Khor. Maharani Shah asked him to infiltrate Rangan's place. You know how she wants to keep track of everything that the dark has done. Why would she do that? I mean, they traded ships together back in the day. And with the maelstrom back in Mumbai, Surprise your wife with a new sir. Going somewhere, sir. You need a taxi. <laughs> I'm just happy my fans can't see me now. I haven't felt this bad since that one time in Tijuana. Oh God, not again. I gotta find a place. Gotta respect a man who can fix his own buttons. Am I right?
interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rang is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute. Now, no need to keep him waiting. Hi. smoke in those eyes, please. Again. Like real projection. More hips, less lips, all right. All right, everyone, take five. I need a few moments. I'm Even here. I can be Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good.
So, I just wanted to say, I absolutely loved you in Blundering Fright. I thought it was a brilliant performance in a very funny horror comedy. Oh, thank you. You know, my brother directed it. <laughs> I'll be sure to let him know you liked it. Hmm. It didn't do very well, but... But I... The standard has become something of a cult classic in Europe. I think it's a misunderstood masterpiece. The camera work alone is magnificent. I mean, obviously, I'm a little tainted by my profession, but I think everything from the lighting to the cinematic tools used was just amazing. Is it true it's loosely based on the... How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's day. do this. Great. Folks, let's all get into position for the big photo, shall we? All right. Let's get this done. You all look great. Focus on me now. So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of Mumbai Heroes soon. I've got big plans for a sequel. Hmm? Big plans. I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents, I never did like them. Deco, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some international roles soon, so my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work. Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me. <laughs> if you say so, Mr. Rangan. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come, shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private word. How about like I suggest you this? humor the man. You're a natural at this, Mr. Rangan. Oh, maybe this way is good, huh? The women really like this pose. All right, when I pull off this look, all housewives in a two-mile radius will faint automatically. Well done, Mr. Rangan. That's oh, excellent. Oh, Hiro, you're so strong. All right. I think that's enough beauty shots for one day. Great. That's a wrap, then. Champagne for everyone. Are Mekarao, great things will come from this movie, guys. Let me tell you, I've got a feeling that this one is the one that will make me famous. You know, it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business, yaar. You know, I got the champagne from a movie business contact. You know, he was so impressed with the production of the film. He just insisted on sponsoring the party, yaar. Famous film director in America. Yeah, I might go there next week to talk about distribution deals for Mumbai Hero. Mr. Rangan, you wanted to see me. Ah, Gregory, yes, yes. Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. Gregory, Gregory. As you know, there's a lot at stake with a production like this. Hmm? Everyone needs to play ball. We're on the same team, after all. But it's important to establish a pecking order. Hmm. Soon, all of Mumbai will be mine. I'm sure you can imagine what that means. Okay, Gregory. I just need my friend here to pat you down. Don't want any recording devices or things like that accidentally going off. Hmm? I'm sure you understand. I gotta search you, sir, if you want to come through this way. <sighs> sir, I'm just doing my job. I gotta pat you down. Sorry about that. Okay, you're all fine. Off you go.
All right, Gregory, here's the deal. And don't interrupt me, all right? 